Hey, this is at 11.11 and this is my reaction to David Dobrik. Sorry, my voice is a bit gone, so that's why you might not be able to hear me. But right, let's take a look at David Dobrik. And I are, as you know, starting a pizza business called Dobrik's and we're also going to be serving ice cream. So today we have a really busy business day ahead of us. We're doing ice cream taste testing. We're, uh... Let's go straight. Straight. We have ice cream taste testing today. I already said that. Oh. Did <laughs> <laughs> you not hear what I just no, said? I thought you fucked it up. Ilya and I take our research and development extremely seriously, so we spent as much time as we possibly could here. Until it was time to get Natalie a new pair of pants and get some lunch. Thankfully, my buddy Nick was there. And he needed some help. <laughs> Dude was making a bowl of pasta in a $3,000 cheese wheel. Basically, I'm eating $3,000 pasta. Mm -hmm. That looks delicious. I want some. So bad. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Look at this. With all that hard work, I decided I needed a break. My favorite part about hot tubbing is the chicks. Hot tubs can get lonely, so I invited Taylor to sweat. <laughs> David! I hate you. <laughs> Not again. Not again. It doesn't get better than this, Taylor. No, it really doesn't. I'm going to like an LA party today, and I thought it'd be fun to take you guys with me. I'm wearing the tightest pants I could find. I was gonna wear this. My godmother made it for me. But she said something about having it home by midnight, which I didn't quite understand, so I just went with the pants instead. I wish that's how smoothly I actually got in the car. But really, on my way over, I dropped my watermelon and rolled down the street. Oh no, my fucking watermelon! Luckily, there was valet outside that grabbed it. Stop that watermelon! I didn't want that to happen again, so I made sure to eat it on the spot. I'm going to Natalie's house right now. She says she doesn't want to go to the party, but I know that's just to cry for attention. I'm just really hoping Todd isn't home. He's always cock blocking me. I mean, I don't have a problem with his cock blocking me. I honestly don't have a problem with his cock in my direction at all. He could be cock stuffing me. No. Natalie's house was a fortress, so I knew this was gonna be difficult. I gotta get over this fence. Lord, I have like a headache now. I can't hang out with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. My stealth operation was a success. And as a reward, Natalie looked at me and said, Hey, baby, want to button my dress? Head. I couldn't help but celebrate by doing my favorite internet dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. When she asked you to button your dress. Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. Is it down or up? I celebrated too soon, though, because the dress was not fitting. You brought this dress from somebody? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the party was interesting. The second we got there, they asked us to put on this weird lingerie. Is this a thong? I later found out it was a mask party, which made sense because the whole thing was giving Illuminati vibes. In about 30 minutes, we're all going to drink the blood of infants. As I stumbled around the house, I ran into a bunch of different party goers. My conversation skills still need some work. Uh, this is my friend Sydney. Hi, Sydney. Wait, she's actually from Chicago. Oh, we're from Chicago. I'm Natalie. This is David. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we're all so nervous. My first party. I'm Natalie. Natalie and this is David, what the fuck was I thinking? After embarrassing myself in front of Natalie, I once again had to prove myself that I was the most manly man at this party. Not only did I destroy her by shotgunning a White Claw, but I made sure to burp really loudly so she knew I meant business. Uh, I did it again so she knew I wasn't fucking around. I know I should be laughing at David and stuff, all, but all I can think of is uh, Gwen Stefani's song is on in the background. <laughs> Not only did I destroy her by shotgunning a White Claw, but I made sure to burp really loudly so she knew I meant business. Uh, I did it again so she knew I wasn't fucking around. Uh, Stop, bro. What's wrong with you? Bro, you're killing my vibe. I'm a friend. No, you're a fucking dick. <laughs> the party's going good. The party was going good until I met this bottle of champagne. Bad news, guys. Um, David got a little too drunk. I finally got back to my house. Seriously, when did he start drinking? I don't get. I don't get it. I thought he never drank. I don't know. Yeah, look it up. Or let me know in the comments. So I was ready to take a nap. You fucking bitch. That was until the champagne kicked in again. Dave. 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 No. 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 Dave. 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 No. 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 Stop. 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 Thankfully, the next night was a little less wet. And that's impressive, considering we spent it on a fire. Uh, we are in a bowl right now. <laughs> You're unbelievable. Guys, I'm here with 
said, he has one of the most entertaining drops I've ever seen. So we're here to show he's about to go on stage. you know starting a pizza business i hope you liked it give us a like subscribe and comment if you want me to react to anything else bye